Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and is Steven going to communicate with Rose? Now, as we previously talked about, Rebecca Sugar this weekend went to two different conventions, Comic-Con Experience and Argentina Comic-Con, the latter of which provided some juicy information. In our last update, I informed you guys that she would be doing a live Q&A that night, and that if anything came out of it, you should keep your eye out on the channel. Well, here we are. Now, this Q&A was dubbed over for native speakers of their language, so at last, you can barely hear the English. But long story short, one of the fan questions was if Steven can communicate with Rose Quartz. Will he ever have a chance to talk to his mommy? And Rebecca Sugar gave one simple answer. Watch the new episodes. Hmm. Now, I'm not saying this is her confirming it. In fact, these new episodes could debunk such a notion. However, I think that once you couple this with her struggling to hold back spoilers the other day, when attempting to correct the moderator on his statement that Steven is Pink Diamond, it has you thinking, what exactly is going to happen? You said that... You said that... Rose, that pink is Rose and Rose is Steven, but I, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to say this without it being a spoiler. <laughs> um, I hope that you'll wonder if... No, I can't. <laughs> Now, on Homeworld, around the other diamonds is the most ample time for Steven to actually contact his mother. And I can't say it doesn't have a bit of foreshadowing. Throughout this season, Steven has access his mother's memories. He's felt emotions that should have been exclusive to her. He still possesses her aura. And Yellow Diamond even said, I'm sure your memories are in there somewhere, Pink. Which, we've seen, they are. With everything going on, I think there are only so many moments in these upcoming episodes that Steven would have a chance to talk to his mother. Although, ultimately, it could be saved for Ballad Heart mind, this really makes me want to look back and recontextualize the description for the episode Escapism. Steven uses his psychic powers to find help. Now while I still believe help entails an outside force like Lars, in fact, I would even wager its inevitability, Steven's telepathic cry for help could result in him getting assistance in a different way. Not physical rescue, but advice, with a chance to properly communicate with his mother. So storm in the room, but with genuine answers. After everything Steven has been through, I couldn't even even imagine what Pink Diamond could tell him. Although in his current situation, she could give him the 411 on White Diamond. Have a rather uncomfortable walk down memory lane, showcasing why she had to get away from White. And through this method, Steven could potentially find a way to defeat her, or at least truly sway her way long enough to get her on board with the corrupted gems. Now, I've never really been a huge fan of the thought of Steven talking to his mother. The complexity between Steven and Rose goes beyond her mistakes. I always felt it was representative of a mother who died during childbirth, and fictional series or not, it would hold more weight, be more powerful, if Steven never got the chance to communicate with her. But on the other hand, this is fiction. We already have talking shapeshifting rocks. They can bend the rules on the symbolism a little, and I'm not really sure if anyone would complain. Now more than ever, Steven needs answers straight from the horse's mouth. And if he never got to talk to Rose, he would just have to suck up and deal with it. Which you may think is fine, but then he would be left with these unsolvable issues always in his head for the rest of his life. Now what I find interesting is that for these upcoming episodes, when you go through the archive of recording session pictures, find images that could likely line up, there is an image that likely correlates with the upcoming episodes that just has Dee Dee Magnahal, Susan Egan, and Zach Callison, aka Pearl, Rose, and Steven. Pearl appears to be the only one who's allowed near Steven at all times on Homeworld. But Susan Egan, it could easily be another flashback. But with this information at our disposal, I truly am wondering, are we going to see Steven make contact with his mother for the very first time? And Storm in the Room will no longer be the closest we have to such a thing happening. Although if you ask me, Steven's little breakdown in the climax has a lot more weight to it after finding out Rose's pink diamond. I finally know the truth. I know what you are! You're a liar! But what do you guys think? Will we see Steven communicate with his mother? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tune directly to me at Ostrich Fox or at Roundtable Vids. We're also on Instagram. If you want to help the Roundtable grow, you can either become a member of the channel or support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, out. Hi, I'm Ostrich Vox from the Roundtable. Hi guys, I'm Retro Nemo. Hello everyone, my name is Tom, and it's going to be that time of year where everyone wants to spread their Christmas cheer. The holiday season is the most wonderful time of the year. You all heard the song, but unfortunately not everyone out there can afford to have a great Christmas. 
especially children out there. And here at the Roundtable, we want to help. And for that reason, Roundtable is launching Tune Up for Santa, a 12-hour charity live stream event this Saturday, December 15th, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're raising money for the Toys for Tots charity, which helps give every kid a great Christmas. We're going to stream video games, have weird challenges, the whole nine. And you're all invited. And we want to reach out to all the content creators, all the streamers, YouTubers, artists in the cartoon community to, to get involved and help raise money for this cause. Singing, dancing, maybe wrestling. We'll be taking requests from the stream. We'll have music. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff, so please stop by. Donate if you can, but more than anything, we just want to have fun and we want to raise awareness for this cause. Now, to make sure we can actually donate the money to Toys for Tots as soon as we can, money would have to be donated via Streamland, so like Twitch, Super Chats will be disabled. No, don't get me wrong, you don't have to donate, but you can just come and watch and enjoy the fun with us. Hope to see you all there. Starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, come tune up with Santa with us, and Merry Christmas. And I hope that we get to see all of you there. 